Hello, my beautiful Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Wednesday, July the 20th, 2022. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is our collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's move into our relentlessly optimistic, positively positive ability to create our best possible life now using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, our, and our ability to focus our intention from this point forward into the future that we want to receive, letting go of the past because it's no longer existent. That energy is no longer active. So let's move into this reading and see what's crack a lacking. We have the King of Wands and the Moon. The King of Wands is the energy of absolute action. He is ready to go, ripping and roaring. He's ready. So this is fire sign energy. So Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. It's also the energy of boss and entrepreneur and leader. So very, 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 very ready to make it happen. So then we have the Moon, which is the Pisces energy. And this is the energy of looking forward to the future and manifesting your outcome through your atten attention to the process and the goal that you want, whatever choose you choose, the outcome you choose. Allowing yourself to be in that place of, of real focus, open energy, being in a place, allowing the universe to drive, but you give it the destination. That's how this works, okay? So... Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. You have the emperor. The emperor is the next step up from this beautiful king of wands. This is the universe in the masculine, allowing all options to come into play because it is the energy of fully manifested activity. It means something is ready for you to step right in. It's already got the motor running. You can take off in it, right? <laughs> it's it's fully active. So we like that that's showing up. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have our three cards. Oh, very nice. We'll take a ten of pentacles for the underlier. <laughs> so we had this yesterday, and now it's in the energy of the here and now. This is the, the moment where it's all congealing. So beautiful energy of the ten of pentacles. Lifetime of abundance showing up. That The ten means fully formed, ready to move forward. And a lifetime of abundance is your definition of a lifetime of abundance. It doesn't have any specific number on it because you can manifest it differently than anyone else. So know that that breakthrough is here. That means lack is over with and you're in a place of feeling abundant and secure. Flow is our next card. Riches flow into my life in many ways and from many directions. Remember, you're, you're not limited by your paycheck, my darling. Your paycheck does not define the abundance. You're, this is above and beyond a paycheck, right? The flow is talking about receiving from source. Your job is not your source. Divine is your source, and it is unlimited. So remember that. Don't just quantify yourself in that annual income. There's more out there. And you can have it. And focus helps. <laughs> Focusing your logical mind. I focus my logical mind to make smart, effective business decisions. This means you're working in tandem with creation, which is your, your right brain, the creative brain, and using the higher self energy of, of the universe. And your own logical human mind that allows you to be in the job. You have to... Be able to focus in, in the actual tasks of the job, 
right? So your job is part, that's what, the only place logic fits is when you're, when you're working, right? Unless you do what I do, which is a little different. There is some logic that has to happen, especially when you're preparing your, your stuff for your CPA. <laughs> You've got to get all your ducks in a row when you get to the end of the year and you have to figure out how you, how you got to file, right? Perfect timing. This is the energy of being in that divine timing zone. The, the double rainbows on each side and the energy of that timer. Beautiful hourglass timer. So the universe is bringing it in in divine timing. And that means you're activated in divine timing when that card shows up. And our sacred geometry. Ooh, love the magic card. So we have... The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment, to move toward possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as you can imagine. All that is required is our belief in their manifestation. So, that's why I was saying don't limit your number on your lifetime of abundance because it can be bigger always. Gratitude is our bottom card here. Thank you. This is a heartfelt thanks to you from someone you recently helped in some way. I, your guardian angel, also wish to thank you for the unconditional love you emanate to the earth, humanity, and those around you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are eternally blessed. May peace, grace, and love forever guide you along your sacred path. Amen, and we take that, and so it is. Let's see what else we have. Invitation. We, your guardian angels, ask for you to invite us into your heart. Tell us at any time, and you, not tell us, talk to us at any time. <laughs> Share with us your fears and concerns, as well as your joys and pleasures. There is no need to be formal. For we have known you from before the dawn of time. In fact, we know you better than you know yourself. And we love you just as you are. So I will tell you, for those of you who do not know, this is an absolute stone cold fact. Um, I, I wagged my finger in the air in a circle at the universe and said, Okay, universe, if you can work some of this out on the regular, you just tell me where to show up. And I was side-eyeing the universe, and I was talking like I'm talking to you, just, you know, right off, right off the cuff. And three days later, I got the voice waking me up, telling me to get on YouTube, and I laughed. <laughs> I laughed and said, oh, yeah. okay, right, sure, that's what I'm going to do, YouTube, that's... That's going to be my big thing. And I went to work. I was like, I don't have time for this. I got to go back to work or go to work. You know, I have to get up and get ready to go to work. And I came home, went to sleep. And that next morning, it did it again louder and almost like it, you know, was shouting at me. And um, you, you, can, you know the outcome already. I watched some videos to see what other people were doing. And uh, here I am. So just so you know, it's listening. No, you don't have to do a bunch of pomp and circumstance. <laughs> so we have the Wheel of Fortune. No, 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 no. This is a wonderful energy. It is all about that breakthrough moment. It's releasing you from all karmic holds, no matter what they may be. Releasing you from all red lights, all doors open, all lights turn green. You are put in a place of prosperity and abundance and all obstacles fall to dust at your feet. So this is big deal, big wheel energy, right? Wheeling and dealing. So we love the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my goodness. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Sun card, not to be outshone. So the Sun card is the happiest card in tarot, my darlings. It is the energy of a full life. It is moving from seed to harvest with the promise from the universe that this is success. So it is a divine alignment for your opportunity of a lifetime, no matter what it is. And the Seven of Swords. You will be able to walk away from what no longer serves you, including giving two weeks notice to wherever you are at the current time. It also means 
shedding old habits and old um, things that aren't good for you, even people, right? So there will, when you make a change like this, there will be change in your entire circle, right? In your household, in your friends, in your, in your work life, all of it will move because it has to. You can't have everything stay the same and get this wonderful change all together. So, I mean, the change is coming and it will force the energy of, you know, just people will not want to be um, associated in the energy of, of a higher uh, frequency when they're on a low vibe. So if any of you are trying to raise yourself up out of some negativity, start thinking and believing that you have that already and it will uh, automatically start to cut loose of the things that don't serve you in that way, that won't allow you to get into that higher frequency. You can release all that no longer serves you. So there's, there's that energy. Magic is afoot. We have the invitation from the angels to ask for what you want. Be absolutely focused in your decisions and your business decisions, but be open to creation when it comes to the, the beautiful future that's coming to you. So my darlings, have a beautiful day. Love, light, peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and a ton of prosperity to you all with divine healing on top. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.